Good morning, good morning. This is the second video of the day. How are you? I hope things have been good. I hope you've been productive. But maybe you haven't. And you've actually been on your phone from morning till dusk. You've been on your phone all day. And you know you have a problem. You know that you've been on this tiny little box that flashes screens and lights at you all day and you know you've not been productive. But you also have no idea how to stop. You have no idea where to start to actually quitting and curing this phone addiction that 99% of the population has. You don't know what the top 1% are doing. I'm gonna go through a five step thing that I'm doing now, which I have learned, which is the best and has actually worked the best for me after being on self-improvement for two years, has, has actually helped me reduce my screen time from 15 hours to four hours a day. And the fifth one is the most important one, so stick to the end. My name is Wada, and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. I'm gonna take off my glasses because uh, it is starting to rain and they are getting wet. The first one is delete apps. This sounds scary, I know, because like you're actually being told to delete apps and you don't want to do that because you probably actually don't really want to make a change. But if you do want to actually listen to this video and actually want to make a change and cure your phone addiction, delete apps, especially the ones with the most screen time. So when you go onto your phone and you actually look at your screen time, look at the apps that have the most usage. For me, it was Netflix and YouTube. I had like 50% of my time on Netflix and like 20% of my time on YouTube, which is not productive. Those apps were not helping me. I wasn't in control of those apps. 50% of my time was on Netflix. Netflix was in control of me. Get rid of the apps that are just simply not valuable to you, that don't value your time. And uh, I also had like, was it third and fourth on that list was YouTube Studio and Notes, but I didn't delete those obviously because those were valuable to me. I use YouTube Studio for this and I use Notes to write the scripts for these as well. Get rid of the apps that are not valuable to you, that aren't worth your time and that aren't benefiting to you in any way whatsoever. Second one is turn off notifications, put on, do not disturb. And the thing is, people are already going to say like, oh, but I have an emergency. No, you don't. What emergency do you have that needs you to be checking every single notification on your phone? And the thing is, maybe you're like me. So like, I put my phone on like, do not disturb. But if I had a missed call from my dad, which never happened. So if it does happen, then I know my ass is getting whooped <laughs> or something really bad has happened. <laughs> so you can actually edit, do not disturb and change it. So where certain people... It's so like notifications will come through so you can still get calls from your family or that person that you need to. But all the other notifications and all the other apps won't come through. So you won't get distracted and go on your phone for unnecessary reasons. Third one, turn off raise to wake. I don't even know why this is on by default because it is and it's stupid when you like raise your phone and then it turns on straight away so you don't need to turn on the button. What's the point? You're going to be way more likely to go on your phone if you pick it up and it just turns on like magic like oh well since it's already on i may as well go on it and waste a couple hours of my time turn off raise to wake there is literally no benefit to this like it's weird to th how think how lazy we are like if you actually need to turn on the button we're way less likely to go on the phone that's how lazy we are fourth one and that is mono color if you go into accessibility and you go into dis display and like brightness and go into color filters or you can just search up in settings like color filter and if you turn on mono your phone will go black and white now when my phone is black and white it is disgusting it is gross and i don't want to go on it therefore i won't be going on my phone i don't want to go watch netflix because one i've deleted the app or if i go on like instagram but it's black and white it's not it's not fulfilling that that need to have that quick cheap source of dopamine that instant gratification because it's not interesting my phone becomes so gross it's genuinely it is hard to go on my phone when my phone is black and white so therefore is one of the biggest things that's helped me changed and the fifth one the most important one that has made the biggest change out of my whole two-year period of being on self-improvement and that is before you sleep and when you wake up I do not go to bed with my phone and I do not wake up with my phone. Before you sleep and when you wake up is the times that we, like 80% of people, mainly go on their phones. When you're in bed, you're comfy, you're under the covers, 
your phone's just within arm's reach. You go on your phone, you scroll on Instagram, TikTok. You start giving in, start watching, binging things on Netflix or Crunchyroll or whatever it is. That's when you use your phone the most. Where it starts becoming an addiction in your life and not a tool to be used. And in the morning when you wake up, your phone's the first thing you grab because it's just an arm's reach. And then you start doing the same thing you did the night before, but in the morning. And then you can't get out of bed because you're comfy and you're just scrolling on your phone. The biggest difference in my life that has made a huge change to getting that 15 hours of screen time, which I don't even know how I managed to have that. I had 15 hours of screen time a day. That is insane to down to four hours of screen time a day. And that is I don't sleep with my phone. I put my phone either in a different room or what I usually do, I put it on the other side of my room. So I actually have to get up out of bed and walk to it and then I'm not sleeping with it. Genuinely, if you just wanna take one of these steps from this video, take this one. Don't sleep with your phone and don't wake up with your phone. It's one of the biggest changes that's made a huge difference. The end goal for us here is for our phone to become a tool, to become what it's designed to do, not as a source of escaping reality, to have this cheap source of dopamine that we get sucked into, scrolling, doom scrolling for hours upon hours. We want our phone to become a productive tool. Yes, I still have four hours of screen time roughly a day on my phone. That's still a lot. Like four hours a day, that's still a lot. But that's on two different apps. YouTube Studio, Notes, and Chess. <laughs> I lied, three apps, I played Chess. It's only on that. Those apps give me value. YouTube Studio is where I check a lot of the stats on this to see how it's going, where I answer a lot of the comments that people type. And notes is where I script and plan most of this. Those are things that are productive. They are a tool for me to use productively. That's our end goal with our phones, to make it a tool that we can actually use productively because technology is a big thing in life now. If we can use it to our advantage to actually be productive, then it will be helpful. It's just that 90% of us aren't using our phones productively. If you're not subscribed to me, then there's a high chance that you'll never find this channel again. But if you do after this, or you're already subscribed, another video will come up in the corner, and you should 100% click on this, because this video could definitely help you, just like this one has. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, you know what time it is. Self-improvement kiss. Mwah.